Depression is a common mental health condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a loss of interest in activities that were once enjoyable. While depression is primarily thought of as a mental health issue, it can also have physical symptoms that can have a significant impact on the quality of your life. In this episode, we will discuss some of the most common physical symptoms of depression. Welcome back to Savvy Psychologist. I'm your host, Dr. Monica Johnson. Every week on this show, I'll help you face life's challenges with evidence-based approaches, a sympathetic ear, and zero judgment. I decided to do this episode because I often talk to people who want to attribute their physical symptoms to other causes, when it could simply be a symptom or consequence of their depression or other mental health issues. To be clear, because of the interaction between mental and physical health symptoms, you do want to have your treatment providers coordinate to rule out all potential causes for your concerns. There are comorbidities between medical issues and mental health ones. For instance, there is a high comorbidity between diabetes and depression. If you're being treated for a physical health condition and it's impacting a mental health concern you already have or potentially causing a mental health issue, it's important to be aware so that your care can be comprehensive and inclusive. With all that being said, let's get into the seven physical symptoms of depression that I'm going to speak about today. Fatigue and low energy. One of the most common physical symptoms of depression is fatigue and low energy. People with depression often feel tired and lack the motivation to do anything. This can make it difficult to complete daily tasks and can have a significant impact on a person's work and social life. They may also feel physically weak or heavy and find it challenging to get out of bed or off the couch. Regular exercise has been shown to improve mood and reduce symptoms of depression. Exercise can also help alleviate physical symptoms such as fatigue and muscle tension. Changes in appetite and weight. Depression can also affect a person's appetite and weight. Some people with depression may experience a loss of appetite while others may overeat and crave unhealthy foods. These changes in eating habits can lead to weight gain or loss, which can have additional negative effects on a person's self-esteem and overall health. A healthy diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and whole grains can help improve overall physical health and reduce symptoms of depression. Whether you have an appetite increase or decrease, you will want to monitor your eating habits. If you tend to not eat when you're depressed, you will want to monitor so that you can avoid skipping meals. If you're overeating, then you want to monitor so that you can notice problematic habits and plan ahead to avoid impulsive eating behaviors. When you don't properly fuel your body, not only will it lead to weight fluctuations, but can increase other physical symptoms like fatigue, aches, and sleep problems. Sleep disturbances. Speaking of sleep, sleep disturbances are another physical symptom of depression. People with depression may have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. They may also experience insomnia, wake up early in the morning, or oversleep. These sleep disturbances can worsen other symptoms of depression, such as fatigue and low energy, and can have a significant impact on a person's daily life. Establishing a regular sleep routine, avoiding caffeine and alcohol, and creating a comfortable sleep environment can help improve sleep quality, which in turn can reduce symptoms of depression. Physical aches and pains. 
Many people with depression experience physical aches and pains that cannot be explained by an underlying medical condition. It's important to note that there is some research that suggests that when you're depressed, your subjective experience of pain is increased. These aches can include headaches, back pain, joint pain, muscle aches, and can be particularly challenging because they can be difficult to treat and can lead to a sense of frustration and hopelessness. Sexual problems. Depression can also have a significant impact on a person's sexual health. Some people with depression may experience a loss of libido or a decreased interest in sex. Others may experience erectile dysfunction or difficulty achieving orgasm. These symptoms can be particularly distressing and can further exacerbate feelings of sadness and hopelessness. Antidepressant medication can sometimes cause sexual side effects, but there are some medications that are less likely to. It's important to discuss any sexual side effects with a healthcare professional to determine the most appropriate medication for your individual needs. If sexual problems are an aspect of your depression, it's important to note that therapy, including specialized services like sex therapy, is available and is effective. Cardiovascular symptoms. Depression can also affect the cardiovascular system, leading to symptoms such as heart palpitations and chest pain. Some studies have suggested that people with depression may be at an increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease. This may be due in part to the fact that depression can lead to an unhealthy lifestyle, such as poor diet and lack of exercise, which are risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Weakened immune system. Depression can also weaken the immune system, making a person more susceptible to infections and illness. This can further exacerbate other physical symptoms of depression, such as fatigue and low energy, and can make it more challenging for a person to recover from illness. As you can see, depression is a complex mental health condition that can have a significant impact on a person's physical health. It is essential to recognize the physical symptoms of depression and seek help if you are experiencing any of these symptoms. The great thing about there being a mind-body connection is that while there are differences in how to heal physical and mental conditions, the foundations often start in the same place with diet, exercise, and sleep as the launch pad. What's a symptom that you were surprised is linked to depression? Let me know on Instagram at KindMindPsych. You can also reach out to me via email at psychologist at quickanddirtytips.com or leave a voicemail at 929-256-2191. The Savvy Psychologist is a Quick and Dirty Tips podcast. It's audio engineered by Steve Ricky Berg with script editing by Adam Cecil. Our podcast and advertising operations specialist is Morgan Christensen. Our digital operations specialist is Holly Hutchings. Our marketing and publicity associate is Davina Tomlin, and our intern is Cameron Lacey. Follow Savvy Psychologist on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. That's all for this episode of Savvy Psychologist. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next week.